Yo, 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 it is your boy, Adam Co. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Best time of the year. Tomorrow starts April, and tomorrow starts opening day. No better day. It's a national holiday. Cannot wait. Um, spring training's over. Felt like a really, really long spring training this year, just because we were so, I think, personally, I was just so ready for the season to start especially after such a tough shortened season. It was just a little tease last year. We get a full 162 this year, and I am very, very excited. Very excited to be back here talking Giants baseball, wearing the colors, and uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I'll try to keep it nice and short, um, but it might go a little long because I am so ready to talk Giants baseball. Spring training went about how uh, we expected it to go. Personally, I thought that's how it was going to go. About 500, we went 11 and 12. Um, so, you know, spring training record is, you could throw that away, but um, 500, 11 and 12. Uh, saw a lot of good things, saw some bad things, but uh, I think the number one thing was not many injuries. Uh, we, obviously, we had a couple um, injuries with the, the, the bullpen. Um, one of our Rule 5 guys, getting hurt, um, and one other guy, another bullpen arm, getting hurt, uh, two Tommy John surgeries. That's tough, but it wasn't big, big names. We had a couple small scares, Yaz and Listella getting hurt there late, but they look like they're going to be okay for opening day. So I'll just go over the roster real quick. It looks like we have a full 26, um, which is great. It looks like I, did, I was going to make a video about a week and a half ago talking about who I think is going to make the roster. But it was just way too hard. Um, I actually was going to make one a little earlier, too, before spring training. But the roster is just so – there was so much going on, so many players, so many players we haven't seen yet. Uh, it was kind of a guessing game. So was, I just wanted to watch how it went. Um, and they had a lot of competition in camp, which was great. And uh, they finally got their 26. So uh, excited to announce it. Uh, I'll just go over real quick. We have catchers, obviously. The biggest addition from last year is having our captain, Buster Posey, behind the plate. Uh, we got a great backup in Kurt Casale, which was kind of surprising when we got him because we, we thought that you know, Bart was going to be that guy. We also side Chadwick Trump so early in the offseason. But to have Kurt Casale, a catcher that every pitcher loves throwing to him, such a good defender, and he, can, he has some pop. Uh, he's a veteran uh, catcher. I think it was a great move. Let's keep Barton in AAA for a little bit. Let him get some more at-bats. Chadwick Trump is always there just in case. Um, he'll definitely be up later as well if there's any injuries to Posey or Casali or if Bart can't, uh, uh, if, he's not, if he's not doing well in AAA. So we have depth at the catcher position, and obviously we have Patrick Bailey who had a pretty good spring as well. He got some at-bats, and he did pretty well as well. So catcher, we, we're okay with catchers right now. Um, Going to the infielders, Brandon Belt, obviously, who's going to be healthy. Crawford, Solano, Longoria, Listella, which is a great addition to the team. Love Tommy Listella. He killed us last year on the Angels. Just a proven vet who could hit. Um, and then Wilmer Flores, as well as an infielder. Um, outfielders, um, we have Yaz, obviously, our man who's healthy. Dickerson had a pretty good spring. Um, decent spring, but he, you know what he could do. Uh, Dubon who could play infield, obviously, of course, but he had some great um, defensive plays this year uh, in spring training. Austin Slater, uh, and then Darren Ruff, who squeaked in there um, as I thought he wasn't going to make the team late, and uh, they catch him on the roster, which I'm very happy about. Um, our rotation is set. Kevin Gosman is our ace starting tomorrow. Um, Johnny Cueto. Got to have Cueto in there. Logan Webb is the three guy. We, no one expected that after spring. He was obviously the the guy in spring that surprised everybody, surprised the league. Um, only get one run. Come on. Um, he looked dirty. So very excited about Logan Webb. Uh, we also have Descafani who we signed, which is a great sign. Uh, I didn't know he threw that hard. That man is going to be a great piece there uh, at the four spot in the rotation. And we also signed Aaron Sanchez, who didn't get many innings in the spring. But uh, looked good in some video that I saw. We signed him to a one-year deal and excited to see if he could um, do well for us. Uh, we, we know how well he was about four or five years ago. Kind of went down, didn't pitch well, got injured with the Blue Jays. So excited to have him. Um, hopefully he could restart his career with Descalfani as well. Notice something, there's all right-handed pitchers. I don't care too much about that. If you, if you could pitch, you could pitch. Um, Alex Wood. 
uh, is not going to start. The, he's going to start in the IR to begin the year, a um, couple weeks. So we'll put him in there. Hopefully, um, we, we can go a six-man rotation. We can kind of slow him in there and put him in the bullpen if we want to. Um, but we have some depth at the, at the, at the uh, in the starting rotation, which is great. Um, and all those guys pitched pretty well in the uh, in spring training. The bullpen was the biggest question mark for us. There were so many guys in camp um, that came in, but they slimmed it down. And we got obviously Jake McGee, who's going to be our closer, I believe, to start. Looks like um, who is a vet. He pitched so well last year with the Dodgers, and he's going to be a great lefty piece for us. Matt uh, Wisler, Weisler, I don't know what you want to say. Some people say different. Matt Weisler is what I'm going to say. Uh, dirty slider, wipeout slider, going to be an awesome uh, addition. Um, another guy is Jose Alvarez, who we signed late, didn't get many innings in spring, but we know what he could do. Throughout his career with the Phillies, doesn't matter what team he was on, pitched very well. Let another lefty arm. Um, Harlan Garcia, another lefty. Got him on waivers from the Marlins last year. Pitched awesome for us. Only gave, I think, one run last year during the shortened season. And uh, he's going to throw some some late innings for us as well. Um, who else? we got Tyler Rogers, side armor. Could be our closer if McGee doesn't work out. He just gets outs. He had a tough couple of innings last year against the Dodgers, but he's he just gets just gets outs for us. Uh, Caleb Berger pitched well last, for, last year for us. Didn't expect him to pitch well that, that well. Didn't give him any runs in the spring. I don't think he gave up a run in the spring. Um, hard thrower, a lot of fastballs, another lefty. Another lefty, Wandy Peralta. So a lot of lefties, you notice that. Um, not many right. Um, not many lefties in the rotation, but a lot of lefties in the bullpen. Um, and then the last one is Reyes Moranto, who is also, just like Posey, a guy that was injured last year. And um, sorry, I got my dog here, my new dog, Kona, just barking up, just touching my feet here during the, during the video. Um, so Marant is going to be a great piece he, he has closer stuff and he could be our closer If he pitches well going forward um, There's a couple guys that just missed out I think Nick Trapiano is one of those guys He's going to be on the taxi squad to start the year A guy that could start games He could be in the bullpen Wipeout slider, wipeout cutter The guy is really, really good Surprised he didn't make the team over Wani Peralta um, And that could change instantly If Wani Peralta has one of those uh, games Where he gives up two or three runs He could be out of the, uh, the bullpen easily he has good stuff. Um, we want to keep Wani Peralta. He pitched well last year, but I could see Tropiano taking that spot um, going forward. Some other guys that just missed out, Jason Vossler. Looked like he was going to make the team just because he could hit, um, but he was striking out a little too much, so they're going to put him in AAA, um, let him work on that a little bit, but I could see him coming up very, very soon for us. Uh, Lamonte Wade Jr. was another guy just missed out. I thought he could maybe take the spot over Darren Ruff. Um, but Darren Ruff was with us. We signed him for a reason. Lamonte Wade still had options. Put him in AAA, bring him up when we get any injuries or if someone struggles. Uh, another guy who wasn't expected to make uh, the team, Elliot Ramos, um, top prospect. I mean, the guy could actually – I he, very, he surprised all of us how good he could hit to all fields with power. Obviously, he's got speed, and obviously, he's got a great arm. So – we're almost could be up quicker than we expected, which is which is great, great news. Him and Bart um, will be up very, very soon. We got another guy, Joey Bart. He'll be up soon. Don't worry. Um, we could uh, we could trade Casali uh, mid season, maybe depending on what happens or if he struggles. Bart can come up anytime. So get him some at bats and then get him up later. He he had a great spring. Uh, Connor Menez just missed out. Put him in Triple A. That's fine. Dustin Leon is another guy. He'll be in the bullpen mix. And Zach Littell, who's also has a chance to be in the bullpen mix. Sam Selman looked like he was going to make the team. He didn't make the team. Just too many lefties. Um, but he, he, this is good. This is good news. We have depth in AAA, um, which is going to be awesome for us. If anybody gets hurt in the bullpen, like, say, Reyes Maranta a couple years ago, we could bring a guy up. If someone struggles, next man up. And that's what uh, um, I think Gabe Kapler has a little more. Um, he's not so handcuffed this year. He has a lot more depth. Especially in the in the infield and outfield, he's got depth. There's gonna be people on the bench this year. I think he said that was his words. Was there's gonna be guys in the lineup every day on the bench that should be starting 162. They should be starting every day, but they just because of how much depth we have. For example, um, I'll go with my starting projected lineup for the game one. We have a lefty Marco Gonzalez against us. Um, I think they're gonna still start La Stella uh, leading off, but if they don't want to, they can go uh, Solano. So Solano, a guy that 
was pretty much the batting champ last year, um, tore the cover off the ball during spring training, he could be on the bench game one. Same with Listella, the guy that we signed our longest extent. We signed to a three-year deal. He could be on the bench game one. Because so we have so much depth. Same with Wilmer Flores. He could be first base tomorrow, uh, game one because of a lefty, but sitting the bench for belt game two. So um, guys that have produced in the pros before, and this could be a good thing though. Okay, a really good thing. Solano, Flores, they're not in their twenties anymore. They're in their thirties. Same with Longo, Belt, Crawford. If we have depth and they play two out of three days or three out of four days or five days a week instead of seven days a week or six days a week, same with Posey. He's not going to play every single day. Okay, So um, we have a lot of depth, and it's going to keep our guys more healthy, um, which is exciting. Belt, um, for sure, he always seems to get hurt mid-year. And instead of playing every single day against lefties, against Kershaw, put in Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores can hit, you know. So... Um, a lot, a lot of depth, um, and I'm excited about it. Very, very excited about this, this, especially the position players this year. Um, just so much depth, so many people that can play different positions. Darren Ref can play first base. He can play left field. Wilmer Flores can play second base, third base, first. Uh, who else? Slater, all outfield. He can play first. He can play second if you need to. Dubon, center field. Shortstop, second base, third base. What do you need him? Listella, he can play second. He can play third. Which, you know, these are guys that we, you know, that's why Lamonte Wade didn't make the team, I think. Yeah, he's just a lefty hitter, which is fine. But he kind of just played the outfield. Darren Ruff can play first as well. He has a little more flexibility. Um, so, that's the, uh, that's the line. I mean, I'll go with the lineup that I expect um, game one. I still don't know about the leadoff hitter. It could be Listella, could be Yaz, could be Solano. But then I think I have Yaz in there. Yaz is going to be our guy every. Lefty, righty, unless it's maybe Kershaw, but I could see still see him in the lineup. That's how good he is for us last year and the year before that. Um, he's just our guy. How fast that happened. He went from not making the Orioles team to now being our guy, and I love it. Um, so those two at the top, Solano, Listella, Yaz, I don't know that situation, uh, whatever Gabe Kapler uh, wants. Obviously, like I said, there's going to be a left-handed pitcher, Marco Gonzalez, so he likes to go a lot of righties. There could be seven righties in the lineup. Um then I got Longo batting third. Longoria tore the cover off the ball as well during spring. Had a great year last year. So I see him at the three, guy, the three spot. Uh, I got Flores playing first game one. Belt still kind of coming in. Lefty will sit belt. He'll pinch it for, for sure later in the game. Um, Darren Ruff, I have him batting fifth. I have Posey batting sixth. I think Posey is more of like an eight or seven hitter. But Posey's our guy. He's our MVP. Three-time champ. I think just the loyalty. I think if Eric Perez, you're watching this, he was talking about that as well. He asked me what the – on Twitter, he asked me what the lineup I I think is going to be going on. And I put Posey at the eight spot. He's like, how are you going to put Posey at the eight spot? I agree. Especially if Bruce Boshi was the coach, he'd put him at the three spot. So much loyalty to the team and what he's done for the team um, in the past. But I, th- I see him still as a six-hitter. He can still hit. Um, and then I have Slater batting seventh. He could be our three-hitter. That's how good of a spring he had in such a good year last year. Um, very excited about Austin Slater. Stay healthy and stay hot, Austin Slater. I have Crawford in the lineup um, just because Crawford is the man. He, You don't want to put Dubon game one um, defensively. Don't want to make two errors at short. Um, I think Dubon's just going to be a center fielder mostly this year. That's why Farhan was talking about possibly getting a shortstop a couple days ago. Um, just some depth which I still think they will with all these cuts that teams are making for opening day. Someone is going to get released. Um, I saw D Gordon got released. Maybe D Gordon comes in, play shortstop um, for some depth. Um, so a lot of options. Like I said, Solano is going to be on the bench. Belt's going to be on the bench. Um, who else is going to be on the bench? Listella possibly. Dickerson's going to be on the bench. Dickerson's going to be on the bench. When Dickerson, when there's a right-handed pitcher, Dickerson could be our three hitter, our four hitter. So, Tons of depth, which is great. Um, that's all I got about our lineup. Awesome. Player of the game, game one, I'm going with our starting ace, Kevin Gosman. He's going to be the player of the game. I think pitching is always ahead of hitters early on, and I think um, the Mariners are still kind of young. They have a lot of good players looking at their roster. Kyle Lewis isn't going to be on the team. Uh, we're not going to see any Kyle Lewis. He's going to start the year on the IR. 
which is a good thing for the Giants. But as a baseball fan, you want to see him out there. He's such a good player. Um, but I'm not going to complain because he's a threat. He's going to be their three hitter. So no Kyle Lewis. They're still a young team. A lot of rookies in the in the um, in the starting lineup and in the bullpen. So that's why the first key of the game I have is score early. Score early, especially against a team that's young. Um, getting on the board early kind of you know sets the tone for the rest of the game and the series. Uh, second key, get to their bullpen early. Marco Gonzalez is a good pitcher. Um, he's been their number one pitcher. He's been their opening day starter, I think, two years in a row at least. He's a good pitcher. Uh, he's always th- mid three ERA. Always gets about double digit wins. Um, he's tough. He could if he's on, he's on, and um, he could easily go seven or eight innings against us. But if we can get him out before five innings and get to that young bullpen that they, I think they got uh, Ken Giles as their closer. Um, but besides that, they don't have many arms in the bullpen that you um, just a regular baseball fan would know. Um, so get to that bullpen early and set the tone for the rest of the, the rest of the series. Um, get those bullpen arms tired and hopefully Gosman can do the opposite for us. Get to the seventh inning, maybe the sixth inning early on. You don't want to stretch them out too long. If you get to the sixth inning, possibly the seventh and we can get to our late inning guys early. We got to start, start off one, one to know anything we can do to start one to know. It's just that the tone for the rest of the year, you go one to know, you're not trying to get to that. Uh, winning record. You want to stay as a winning record as long as possible. Okay. Uh, last key of the game is stay hot Slater. He's for sure going to be in the lineup. Lefty pitcher. There's no reason why he won't be in the lineup. Stay hot Slater. That great spring, great season last year. Stay healthy and stay hot Austin Slater. Um, I wanted to pick him as the player of the game, but I think Kevin Gosman is going to deal for us, and that is who I have for the player of the game. Uh, overall record for the season, I put as 86 and 76. Some people are going to be like, whoa, what are you doing? So many good teams in that uh, division. Dodgers, obviously. Padres. D-backs are decent. Rockies aren't as good as they used to be. No Arenado. Um, but I still love this team. I still love this team. They did such a good year. They had such a year, good year last year. Playing the Dodgers, awesome. I think uh, it was an even 6-6 six and six against them during the year. Um we played everybody well last year. I was very impressed with this team. We added some great pieces. Like I said earlier, we're healthy. There's all good things here in San Francisco. Game starts at 9 o'clock my time, 7 o'clock back home. Um, what did I miss? Nothing really. I mean, we got some guys coming back um, soon. Tyler Beatty uh, is one of those guys that he'll be back soon, uh, maybe two or three months into the season. Um, and if we need some depth, um, he could be a bullpen piece, starting rotation piece. Um, yeah, very excited. Hopefully, we can go one and one and know. I will be posting more videos with season starting. I know I didn't post any videos before, but I like this channel just to be. Ba- I think this channel might just be for the Giants and for baseball. Um, I possibly will do a major league baseball review, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the Giants. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know. Um, I still am watching the Warriors, obviously. Um, it was tough to see my Texas Longhorns get kicked out first uh, first round in the March Madness, but it's okay. I'm watching some Texas baseball, Texas Longhorn baseball. They're doing well, fifth seed, but um, hopefully the Warriors can get it going too. For right now, it's all Giants. All Giants. Opening day tomorrow. Enjoy tomorrow. If you're watching it today, enjoy today. Crack open a cold one. Get some barbecue going, some hot dogs, Cracker Jacks, whatever you want. It is baseball. Enjoy your day. It's a national holiday. Love you guys. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I'll see you guys later. Go Giants.